um, compilation, you may be seated. Ruby is going to come and meet us in our uh, prayer song. And uh, while she's coming there, I'd just like to add a name. Uh, Brian Sturge. John, his son, has requested prayer for his father today. And uh, going through a medical uh, uh, concerns at this time. And we just want to uplift Brian and serve him and his family at this time. Let's quieten our hearts as we come before God in prayer. And before we sing, we have many people on our list that need the prayer at this time. We know the people in the homes, like Bill Snellgrove and Russ Green, Richard Snellgrove, Morley Button, Marie Pottle, Janet Penny, Fanny Fagner, Pat Sparks, and Judy Button. And I'm glad to see Pat up with us this afternoon. And may God bless you, Pat, as you worship with us this afternoon. And for those that are sick, Gary Garland, Willie Ryle, and Les Ford. And for those who have been caused to mourn in, in the last few days, and our young people in our communities and up and down this shore needs a touch of God on their heart. We need to be up and be doing in those days for our young people. Because we know that they are the church of tomorrow. But if they are lost, the church is lost. And I pray for people up and down this shore that need the touch of God on their hearts. And there's an unsp two unspoken requests that needs the, our prayers today. And I pray that God will move in a mighty way in the hearts of those people. And for the request that the Major just told us about, we pray for that request today as well. So we're going to sing the Psalm 787. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls us from the world of care and bids us at our Father's throne, makes all our wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and oft escaped this tempter snare by thy return, sweet hour of prayer. Let's sing verses 1 and 2 together and then I'll have to pray. Sweet
praise for just another day that you have blessed us with. Thank you, Lord, for your love and your understanding for your mighty new power. Thank you, Lord, that you are a God that never fails. You're always there to pick us up, Lord, and to plant our feet upon that solid rock. We love you too, this evening, Lord, because you first loved us, Lord. You paid the price on Calvary. You suffered and bled and died that we might have life and have it to the full. We thank you, Lord, because of your God that never fails. We're looking forward to that day, Lord, where all sin shall be washed away, and we shall reign with you throughout the countless ages of eternity, where there will be no more sickness, sorrow, or pain. We thank you, Lord, because we know that one of these days you're going to break through the eastern sky, and you're going to receive us unto yourself. Help us, Lord, to be ready, watching and waiting with the wedding garment on, washed in the blood and sealed with a stamp. Help us, Lord, to be careful of enough, because you sent me a word, Lord, when we see these things take place in this world as it is today, to look up, because our redemption is drawing nigh. Help us to be up and be doing it in these days, Lord, to go out into the highways and the byways, and bring in the lost and the dying, those that need you in a real way. We thank you today, Lord, because we know you're always there. No matter what the circumstances of life may come in our pathway, you are there to lift us up and to give us strength for each brand new day. We pray for those that are in the nursing homes, Lord. We ask of God that you'll be with them in those days, that you'll lift them up and give them strength from day to day. And oh Lord, there's times they feel lonely <coughs> and, are, <coughs> and, and are looking out to you, Lord. We pray that they will reach out and touch the hem of your garment. As the lady of old, as she touched the hem of your garment and was made every way whole. We pray for our young people in this community and up and down the shore. We ask of God that you move in a mighty way, that you send a revival, Lord. And, your people, Lord, that are called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face, Lord. You will heal our land and heal our people. We pray, dear God, for this unspoken request, Lord, that you will be with those people that need you. know what knows what the need is, Lord. And we pray, dear God, that you will move in a mighty way. You will heal their bodies and save their souls. We pray, Lord, for that request that the Major has talked about today. We ask of God that you will be around and about them, and you will lift them up and give them strength from day to day. We ask of God that your Holy Spirit will move in a mighty way in our midst, that you will move, Lord, from aisle to aisle, Lord, and as aisle, as aisle from vessel to vessel. We pray, dear God, that you will bless us each one, and may your Holy Spirit move in a mighty way until Jesus comes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> the last verse says, Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, may I thy consolation share, till from the Pisgah's lofty height I view my home and at the sight, but off this robe of flesh and right, to gain the everlasting prize, and realize forever there the fruits of this with our prayer. Let us stand as we sing that last verse together, please. 